Smash that like button if you woke up this morning, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. So today we got 50 Cent goes back in on Young Buck, okay? Then Young Buck responds, and it, his response makes no sense. Then we got Nipsey Hussle's baby mother for his eldest daughter, okay? Um, she is going to be fighting for custody against Nipsey's sister. Nipsey's sister is trying to get custody of her. Um, they're saying guardianship. I don't know if that just means the same thing, but we'll, you know, let's look into all this because it's very messy. Things get messy after someone passes, unfortunately, sometimes. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up again, smash that thumbs up button, and smash that bell so you're notified when I drop new news. Okay, so um, let's get to Young Buck and 50 Cent. So Young Buck and his alleged uh, affairs, we, we know what we're talking about here, okay? 50 Cent pokes uh, fun at that because this um, person that Buck was uh, involved with drops a Shorty Wanna Ride remix. <laughs> And has a bit, she put her, or well, he or, I, I don't know, let's just say trans. I heard that's the way, you know, that's the correct way without offending anybody. Um, <clears throat> this trans person uh, that Buck has been involved with put uh, their face on the person that was in the video. <laughs> 50 Cent put it up and said, uh, I think, I mean, she's mad she gave David the idea for the, for the heart project, <laughs> the heart Valentine's Day project or something. I guess Buck, I forgot he released some project around Valentine's Day. It was crazy, man. Uh, then the, a GoFundMe was started to help David Brown, a.k.a. Young Buck, free himself from Fofty. Zero out of $300,000 goal. On behalf of David Brown, we have started this campaign to free Young Buck from Fofty Cent. 50, a.k.a. 50 Cent. Help Buck get away from Fofty. Just make a donation and set your favorite rapper free. Fafti wants to get his money. <laughs> so, 50 Cent wants 300,000 for Young Buck to get free of G-Unit. You know what's funny? Young Buck was free from G-Unit in 2009-10. He got free from the label, then signed back to the label a couple years later when he got into jail for some other thing. And now here he is again. He's handling this wrong. 50 probably would have let him go altogether if he kept it all behind closed doors, but young buck went right to instagram and now you're past negotiation phases you know and then young buck responds with your days are numbered your days are numbered 50 uh no he this guy has like three or four maybe five television shows coming out right now music is secondary you know at this point um also he came out with bullets are flying because uh that's what Young Buck was. One one time, Buck went on a rant. He said, "Bullets are flying." Oh no 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 no! He it was when he was um, arguing with the trans uh, person that he was involved with on the phone. He was like, "Bullets are flying out here. It's serious out here. And you want to play putting my name under?" So now, <laughs> fifty set, fifty put out some. Uh, fifty is the name. Get it straight. I want my money. Bullets are flying. So there's bullets are flying merch out right now. Um, then, so we'll see. What, we'll, I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on with that. Then we got um, Nipsey Hussle's sister trying to get custody of his eldest daughter. Um, I don't know, man. It's like when, when people pass unexpectedly um, and things aren't in order completely, it get things get out of order and that's what's happening so uh she wants guardianship for 11 year old amani that's his daughter and uh this is a you know the woman that she's claiming the woman that nipsey had amani with isn't capable of taking care of her uh nipsey also has another child two-year-old cross with laura london and cross obviously is uh with laura london you know um in Amani, they shared uh, joint custody, right? They, she even put many posts up saying, like, you know, whatever we go through, he's the best father. Uh, he's never been fake when it comes to uh, this love. I love Nipsey for this, you know, like for having love for his daughter, right? And uh, that's what she was saying. So um, for some reason, the sister wants to take guardianship over. And this is going left really quick. Uh, 
she put up a post the other day from a girl named she she posted some, what somebody else said it said f all the haters these comments talking ish on y'all the little fake pages she can post when and when and what she wants about him uh, half of y'all don't even know her trust if you did you will know she will run them hands up but y'all just looking to be heard because it's definitely y'all gonna get seen with fake asses she loved him loved him period f out of here effing with them knew them personally okay so, so this is the woman that was uh, always down with nepsy uh, original bonnie she said and, and then she said half of y'all baby daddies ain't even make it nowhere to a job interview a doctor's appointment dental appointment even out your house uh china hustle uh down for whatever i guess there was a lot of like you know she wasn't posting enough i mean you know i don't know <laughs> i don't know people were weird She's fine, though. It's just, uh, yeah, the, the child needs to be with her mom. You know, you can't just, you know, it's like file for joint custody or something or, you know, be a part of the child's life. But take the child, that's that's another thing. But it's not our business, you know. But it is the business now because everybody's putting it out. It's everywhere. So anyway, I, I always wonder how those things get out of control like that. Don't forget to file your own disputes for your credit report on TransUnion, Experian, or Equifax. You can do this stuff yourself. These are the credit agencies that can make our life so difficult, guys. Whenever you know that Sprint bill or something and it gets reported to affect your credit, it goes to these three bureaus. A lot of people say you need to hire someone. Now, if your credit's really messed up, you might need some assistance, but if you just got a few negative remarks and you know, you're thinking about uh, I want to get a car or this in a year or two. Start working on that now. Go to all these websites and dispute these things yourself. Sometimes you can do that. And then also you can also, if it's like a guaranteed thing that's just not coming off, um, sometimes you can work it out with a credit. Like, I can only afford this. And sometimes they'll, they'll work with you on it just to get the money because they know it, it could just never get paid and then drop off your credit and then you don't owe anything. Um, anyways, guys, try to take control of your credit. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace.